guys, it's Alexis, and today I'm going to show you how to make reborn baby pillows for their beds. Sorry for the background noise, that is my brother. <laughs> so, you will need scissors, uh, and basically fabric, and um, you can choose either way uh, how you want to make it. If you want to, if you don't have a sewing machine, then you can use a hot glue gun, but if you do have a sewing machine, um, it does make it neater, so, and it'll stay longer, but glue guns do work as well. So, I will be showing you how to make both ways. So, um, out of one of the fabrics that you're using, I'm making these for TJ. So, you're going to need to cut out, like, a rectangle as big as you want it, and it doesn't have to be exact measurements, um, but it, um... I just do mine by what I think, like what I see. <laughs> so, um, this is mine. How big mine is? Eh. Um, so make sure you're able to fold it over like this. And then you're going to flip it inside out. And basically so along um, all the parts that are not closed in but make sure do not forget to leave a hole somewhere so you can stuff it with either toilet paper or other fabric or stuff like that I usually stuff mine with either cotton balls or toilet paper and I recommend if you are using fuzzy fabric like I am for TJ's uh, thing I recommend um, using the sewing machine if you're using the fuzzy fabric but if you're not then hot glue gun always works but the fuzzy fabric doesn't always stick so I'm gonna sew it ah, my things <laughs> turned the wrong way So here is the finished product of the sewing machine pillow. This isn't what it looks like so far, but now you need to flip it inside out, or flip it back the normal way. What are you doing? Because I left too small of a hole, <laughs> um, but it'll be okay, I think. So now I'm going to use some cotton balls to fill up my pillow. Eh. Okay. So you can use anything basically to fill it. You can use toilet paper, Kleenexes, just leftover fabric, um, anything that'll make it just a little bit more fluffier. So I feel like cotton balls are easy to stick in, so. I'm going to fill it up with cotton balls. Okay. So here's the pillow, and now I'm just going to, you can fill it how big you want, and now I'm just going to sew the open end right here. Okay. Find the stool. Ah. off all of the excess one second <laughs> there's a lot of it okay so this should be your finished sewed pillow so now I'm going to show you how to use your hot glue gun and make the same pillow so, I'm making one for Toby now, um, for Rachel. So, I have his monster fabric right here, and I'm going to basically cut out the same rectangle, uh, 
at the size that I want it. And I'm going to flip it inside out so that you see the non-pretty side. And then just hot glue the ends. And don't forget to leave that extra space for the um, cotton or whatever you're using. And make sure every once in a while you go ahead and press it down. And by the way, they won't see this side, so if it's really bad, it just, it's okay. <laughs> so I just basically flipped it inside out the same way, and now I'm going to fill it with cotton balls. And I left a bigger opening so it would be easier for me. And make sure whenever you're flipping it uh, to be delicate because um, the glue can, like, come undone and just make it a whole mess and it won't be pretty and <laughs> so you'd have more to glue and it would take longer so make sure the glue's dry so I put all the fluff in it and now I'm just going to fold down these edges right here and I'm going to hot glue it And then these are your finished pillows. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. And if this technique works for you, please like this video and comment down below. Bye!